Hello everyone, today we'll be creating this new month flyer using Pixelab and Snapseed. Okay let's set our background to a gradient, the right side of the gradient will be this color, the hex code is hash FF8B68, and the second one will be hash D30B6E. We'll position it just like this. Let's bring in a picture of sun rays. We'll erase the white from it and set the color to hash E8496B. We'll scale it to cover the fit in the full screen. Let's also reduce the opacity to 8%. Now let's bring in our second image. We'll scale it and position it. Let's add the leaves. All images and are in the project files link in the description. I also added the PLP file for this project. We'll position them like this. We'll adjust the brightness and contrast of this one to make it pop a bit. Let's add our text. We'll scale it up and set the font type to Nighthouse. Set the color to 9ED482. Let's add inner to the text. Set the blur radius to 3 and the offset X to 6 and the offset Y to minus 6. The color of the inner shadow should be 29511C. We'll send it behind this image. Let's also add our second text. We'll set the font to Sacramento regular and then make it bold. Let's create a square and set the border radius to 12. We'll adjust the size and position it. Set the opacity to 40%. We'll add a black shadow to it and reduce the opacity of the black to 71%. We'll add stroke to our June text and set the color to white. I'll add another text. I'll just paste a text that I have here. We'll place it in the white box we created and position it. Set the font to Montserrat medium. Reduce the line spacing to minus 5. We'll also reduce the letter spacing to minus 9. Next, we'll create a circle and set the color to the same green we used for our text. We'll add inner shadow to it. Set the blur radius to 3 and the offset X and Y to 12. Set the background to the same one we used for our text shadow. We'll create a white circle. Center both circles and place the green one on top the white one and merge both of them. Now scale it and place it at the top right side of the white box. I'll just add this image of my social media links. You can add yours if you have one too. If you don't need this you can save your work and skip to the next part where we'll use Snapseed to edit our design here.
Now in Snapseed we'll import our design. We'll first apply the pop effect to make it pop. Next we'll add grain. I'll be using this low 5 grain filter. Set the values as you please. We'll add details, just increase the structure a bit. We'll add tonal contrast. We'll add some selective editing to our design here. We want to make our text here pop. Just follow what I'm doing. Hold on the selective editing points to bring our the order options. Also to move between the different options just click and hold anywhere outside the Canva then swipe up or down to switch between the options. We'll copy and paste the styles on different letters. Also place it on the leaves. Next we'll head over to view edits, click on the selective edits. Now, we'll just zoom in and brush on the text and the leaves only. Next, we'll go to curves. Just follow what I'm doing to get similar result. I'm trying to make the green pop in the design. Next, let's click on brush. We'll add more saturation to our text here. So just zoom in and brush on the text. Next, let's brush on the text again but this time we'll add more temperature to the design here. First brush on the text. Now, you can brush on other parts too as you wish. So, that's all. You can save your work or add more changes to it. It's all in your hands now. Alright, we've come to the end of this video. I hope you found it helpful. Please if you did, kindly like, share, comment and subscribe to this channel for more value. Click a video on screen to get more knowledge on Pixel Lab and smartphone graphic design.